Obviously, the big news around Liverpool at the moment is, of mm-hmm. course, dominated by Jurgen Klopp. Um, as another man who's obviously very well connected to Dortmund and obviously mm-hmm. connected to, to Liverpool. I mean, how surprising is this news that Jürgen's decided to, to sort of call it quits at Liverpool now, do you think? I mean, I think it was surprising for everybody. Uh, nobody expected uh, uh, Jürgen to leave now because he, uh, he announced his contract uh, till 26, uh, I think, last year. Mm-hmm. So, um, but, you know, you have to respect it. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's quite a shock for the, yeah, for, the, uh, for the club and for the fans. But at the end of the day, it's, uh, yeah, it's from him. And he uh, made the decision for himself. And he thinks he's the, it's the right, right time and the right moment uh, yeah, to do uh, yeah, this kind of uh, uh, resignment. Uh, he feels like uh, he said it a couple of times now. That he's running out of energy. I think he rebuilt uh, the team from from last year. Last year was really bad. So, uh, and this this season they are in four cups in, so they can win everything. And uh, I think for him it would be a fantastic uh, time at the end of the season to leave with at least one, two, three, uh, or even four uh, trophies. Yeah, I mean, obviously, from his time at Dortmund, Liverpool fans are going through that same sort of feeling that Dortmund mm. fans went through. We saw his leaving, you know, at the West Brom Stadium, you know, the, the big, the, the yellow wall and all the, the the banners and people crying and all that kind mm. of stuff. He just, he just has that impact on people. Have you ever known a manager to have that kind of no. level of? I think he's one of uh, really uh, rare people in in the world, or in, even in this business, where you have an, an impact like uh, like he had. Yes, you named it before in in Dortmund, when he uh, announced uh, in Dortmund that he will leave. It was the same shock for everybody. But even there, it was a little bit similar. The year before, uh, or actually, it was the after this year, start of the season was terrible. They nearly uh, battling for the uh, going down the second uh, second league. So, uh, but at the end, he said, "Okay, I think it's time. It's uh, it's the right uh, moment to uh, yeah to go on." And uh, so. He had the same, maybe the same impression now. So, even if you look on the team now, if uh, what he's uh, leaving for the next uh, uh, coach is fantastic, I mean, he has uh, really uh, uh, a team built it up in in the last uh, yeah in the last two years now. They really can uh, battle for a long time now. Brilliant player from uh, from the academy. Sorted in, so I think it uh, it is a, a good moment for him. It's sad for everybody, but. Uh, Life is like this, it has to go on, and uh, definitely Liverpool will find uh, a right replacement. It's not easy, we saw this in, in, uh, in Dortmund, so uh, now after Jürgen's leaving, we had already seven or eight uh, new managers, so it's not even uh, <laughs> easy to replace him. But uh, yeah, you will find the right decision there. Just on, on a potential, obviously Sabi Alonso is another guy who's got a Liverpool connection mm-hmm. there as well. How do you think He's performed at the moment because obviously Leverkusen is having a, a brilliant season. He looks like he's got something special himself. Yeah, I think he he, he is now uh, two and a half years in in Leverkusen, but uh, there on the first year, you know, it's like for him a, a little bit experience. He had experience with uh, Real Madrid in the I think the youth academy there. Sociedad. Or Sociedad was it? Yeah, exactly. So I think he's in he's in yeah in the shape and he's uh, you know. Uh, Xavi knows everything here, is a hero here. So even as a coach, Leverkusen, it's the best season they ever played in their whole history, I think. So to turn a team like Leverkusen into a, yeah, into a winning side, they're definitely battling for the uh, championship in Germany this, uh, this season. So I think uh, if he's really uh, keen to come over to, uh, to Liverpool, he would be not a bad choice then. Yeah, just just if you don't mind, because obviously people know Bayern and people know Dortmund and they know they're the teams often fighting for for, for the <coughs> Bundesliga title. How big a job is that to make Bayer Leverkusen a team that's competitive at the top of the league? Uh, he made uh, he made really good decisions about uh, players. So uh, the team is normally Leverkusen was famous for a second, <laughs> never winning anything. So uh, I think he got in this mentality. You know, the, the players see, okay, this is a coach, they won everything, they won titles uh, on, on the biggest uh, stage ever. So uh, if, 
if he is telling us you should do this and this and this, then it's uh, it's the right thing because he knows the how to work and uh, to win championships and uh, big trophies. So I think uh, you cannot even. Uh, Uh, mention how his influence was in, in Leverkusen because before it was a decent team but nothing special and now even the you know the signings he made uh, they've been really brilliant every signing he made so it's not only uh, one shot like uh, Grimaldo or something like this even Boniface and you know he has a really good eye for it mm -hmm. and he has a really good um, yeah, knowledge about uh, coaching uh, people there I mean not many people would have seen Granit Xhaka at Arsenal and thought he would be an important yeah. Bundesliga challenging player. Yeah, but he knows exactly what he wants, what he expects from uh, his players in the, in the midfield, up front. So from this point, I think, uh, you know, it's important. You, you saw this for years now in Liverpool, a lot of manager uh, uh, going around there and making mistakes, uh, buying uh, the wrong player and wrong time. And uh, even if uh, Jürgen was coming here and bought uh, Mo Salah, everybody was thinking, okay, Mo Salah, he didn't make it uh, into, uh, even in, in Roma, he was a uh, okay player. Yeah, but you know, Jürgen had this eye, and I think uh, if Xavi Alonso has uh, the same uh, type of football he like, a little bit different uh, than Jürgen, but you know, offensive, uh, spectacular football. What uh, what Jürgen implemented here now for for years, you cannot take a coach now. I don't know, uh, like uh, Mourinho, who is uh, looking for you know uh, results and stuff like this. Here, they expected uh, a coach really was attacking football.